Right, I know we've had about a million cowgees so far on the channel, but this one's a bit special. We discovered this the other day. And inside here, we've got a few different things. So we've got all this delicious fatty pork. It's stewed in almost like a gravy. She's got a big pot of it. We've got coriander. That is the most annoying dog in the world. I'm gonna strangle it. We've got pate that isn't in chunks. It's like actual like paste pate. There's chili paste in here. Another spicy condiment. So we discovered this yesterday, it's actually really good, it's spicy. Oh. Right, ripped it off, we'll get some of this juicy, porky goodness in the middle. Warm. Mm. Toast the bread so it's nice and warm. It's really good, spicy. Coriander flavour is really strong. Yeah, the pate is delicious, but it's the spice. It's got a real after spice, which I love. And it's 10,000 kit, which is the cheapest one we've had in Savannah Cap. Ridiculous price, that. For probably the best one we've had. Well, well. Before we set off for the day, we just spotted this little super chill coffee shop, like a stand up coffee shop selling like mocha pot coffees. So we'll just sit here and drink these. Leisha's got a green, green tea, ice green tea, such a good drink. I and there's a puppy, a puppy, yeah. <laughs> this is the real reason we came to this coffee shop. No, but in all honesty, this is absolutely delicious. Super strong black coffee. Kicking the day off right. Kevin. Hello, Kevin. 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 Oh, you. Tripping over the helmet. No, it's gonna So I'll show you the bike in a second, and then we'll hit the road. Right, so I just realised breakfast cost us less than one pound. Them coffees were 10,000 kip each and the uh, cow D was 10,000. So 20,000, that's like 95p, that's ridiculously good. And it was so tasty. Now here is the steed, the Tron, the Kalau Tron. Got the nice Lao sticker on. If the bike makes you through the trip in one piece, I'll give a shout out to the company we've rented it from. She seems all right, she's quite nice to ride. A few teething problems. Shout out to the Thai couple that broke the bloody seat though. 120,000 kip we're paying a day, which is just under five pounds, I think. Which is all right. So we're gonna set off in a second. I'll tell you where we're going when we're on the road. You don't wanna to listen to me waffle here. Yeah? I'll just quickly show you. a Bit of a view over Savannah Ket Riverfront, over the Mekong River. We love these Mekong River towns. I actually really like Savannah Ket, it's super chilled out really not touristy at all a really chill place to be and everyone's so friendly enough talking rubbish let's go right we've had an absolute fucking nightmare i'll tell you what's happened after we've eaten this meal we'll get our heads in a better mental state we've got some nice sticky rice some grilled pork belly some grilled chicken some jill some delicious dipping sauce it's really good actually this and the pork belly is really good We'll have some of this nice tasty Lao food and then I'll explain to you what's happened. Because we've had a right shit around. So where we are right now is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you in a second, but we had no intentions of coming here whatsoever. We've had a bad day. It's been a really bad day. It's just been one of them periods where everything goes wrong the past few days, the past few weeks. This stuff happens, everything's not great all the time. Yeah. We had a bloody crash in the morning, didn't we? We were heading off out to explore a region of Laos which gets pretty much no tourists, a complete unexplored region. We're super excited. And yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. We were just driving. And someone absolutely sideswiped us, sent us flying, came out of absolutely nowhere from behind and yeah luckily we're all right just scratched like cut up leash is all right we're all right but <laughs> we just had to pay him 40 quid the people who rented the bike off are amazing marvel house tours in savannah kept they're amazing the the bike is all right they've not charged us anything and yeah we're all right so we're back out enough of that it's just a not a good time 
but where we found right here is absolutely stunning. Now this area of Lau, they can, they have a rice season twice a year, harvest season. So here we've got stunning lush green rice fields. This is so beautiful. It's so green. Everyone's at work. Everyone's so smiley. Look, everyone's just grafting. Now this side we've got this huge reservoir. We'll have a little potter about and see what we can find because it's a proper, this is like proper rural Lao. It's like the wild west around here. It's just, again, animals everywhere. There's so many cows trotting about town. There's so many geese. There's packs of dogs everywhere, which is quite scary. So here we've got this beautiful lake, just these like red dirt roads. It was like a sand road back there. It was horrible. We were sliding all over the shore. Looks tropical, doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, what a terrible... So, we were so excited to go on this big road trip and then it just killed the entire mood today. We got properly smashed off the road. Was it even our fault? I know you won't believe that, but... Luckily we weren't even moving. Like, we yeah, we were, we were pretty much stopped. We just got like absolutely pummeled by someone else doing about a million miles an hour. Not, not obviously wasn't even looking. But we're okay. It is what it is, yeah. The main thing is that we didn't get hurt. <laughs> Leashes would I think I fractured my thing. <laughs> yeah. I just look, under here, I just look, a bit of a mess, but it is what it is. We're all right. So we'll just explore around here, I guess. Make the the best of a bad situation. I mean, this isn't a bad situation, though. Look at this place. We'll take a look around. Proper rural little farming village. Just outside of Savannah, kept like a 25 30 minute drive out. Let's have a look around. Seriously, it's so quiet, it's so peaceful here. It's incredible. <laughs> Typical timing. And everyone's just working away. I think this guy, what's he doing? Fishing. Sabaidi! Loads of cows here. I don't want to go too close to these. But yeah, you can see it's like a marshland. And I'll show you here how they... I'll show you in a second. We'll just... we'll go over here. We'll just look at some of these views. Just goes to show, I mean, sometimes... You might be the best driver in the world. And crazy things can still happen. Just all luck. Just bad luck. Spot of bad luck. It is what it is. We move forward. Onwards and upwards. But yeah, it happens. Shit happens. Now this is what I'm going to show you right here. So this reservoir. The boat we rented the back from told us. In the rainy season they can't grow the rice here because there's too much water, so it's all like deep and flooded, but the water's filtering through here, into this side, into the rice fields, and then they're using all this water, obviously, to grow the rice here. And this is different than a lot of other places so far in Laos, it's super green, I mean, this time of year, January, some places are brown, but here it's like bright green. Sabaidi! Just want to get in and do a bit of graft, don't you? Ah. Ah, for, for animals? Huh? For... for ah. <laughs> Is it a trap? It's a trap. What for? Ah, what for? Shrimp. Gong. Gong. Ah. I don't know what they are. Cool. Pop chai. Pop chai. <laughs> If you know what they are, let us know. They're like some sort of traps or something. I'm not for a shrimp or something. No, I don't know. Let us know. Oh, the geese. Are, what's he doing? What does he look like he's doing? Oh, we can actually enjoy a bit of geese. What would you call this? This is adult content right here. They're at it as well. They're all at it. Oh, bloody hell. Get, get demonetized if I carry on filming that. Ah, I can't be watching that. It's biting the head, look. 
Oh Hello. no. Oh no, it's a gang. I I look. I I need cow 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 cow. Oh wow. <laughs> So interesting. So they pull it all out and then they're like bundling it together. They're really smart, these people. Cop <laughs> chai, cop chai. So beautiful. There's a guy with a dog walking through as well now. I feel like I'm intruding on the working day. Oh wow. That's enough. We'll have a look. Wow. Okay, cop chai, lag on. They're really smiley to say they're just out here grafting. What's <laughs> what she saying? The guy with his dog walking through. Very skilled. Gang, gang. <laughs> we should spoke a bit more loud. We'll head round here, round the road, around this reservoir and through these rice paddies and see what we can see. See what's going on. Proper smiley then people. I just pulled over because they were like shouting. I say everyone's proper smiley then people just gave us the biggest shit I've ever seen but yeah I think most people are super nice so we'll go down here and see what's going on. Wow so this looks to be a bit of a shame. I think here was a restaurant. <gasps> oh this hasn't been used in a while that wood feels like it's been rotting for ages. It looks like there used to be a restaurant here. It's, well there definitely was a sign. It's not here anymore. But we can still have a look at this view. You can see it was one of these style of restaurants where everyone would sit around and eat your typical papaya salads, larbs. This is so sketchy, honestly. I feel like I'm going to fall through. Cow niao, sticky rice, dipping sauces, like what we ate before. This is well sketchy. <laughs> look at this. I mean, I'm presuming I'm not going to fall through, but. I can't not show you this view, look at this. Well nice. It's fantastic. So it looks like it's gonna rain though, but look at this place. It's stunning, one side this beautiful reservoir, the other side all those rice paddies. This would have been a seriously nice place to eat, and what's this? Some sort of DIY fishing pole or something, I don't know. The water's flat, it's like glass, you can see the sky reflecting. Oh, I bet this was a well nice spot. I would have loved to have a bit of a meal in here. Gone. Super cool this area. Like Lao. It's a fairly big country. There's so many places to visit, but it seems people visit only like the big three, like Vientiane, Lang Prabang. I don't know where else. But I think. Anywhere is an adventure in this country, like even the tiny villages, you can have a right adventure. I can't wait to go on some further in this trip. Today's a bit of a write off. Oh, angry dog in there. Just stay away. PTSD from the loud dogs. The tired dogs are a mate, so loud dogs. It's absolutely stunning round here. I hope the camera does this place just there. Rice fields are so beautiful. And then that's beautiful as well. I don't think we're gonna go anywhere else there. I think we're just gonna loiter around here and enjoy enjoy where we are. Take the time to not really do anything. It's like the water is like glass. You see everyone just parks the bikes here for the day. And they jump into there for a, a day's work, a day's graph. And they work hard, they work all day out in the sun. It's not a super easy job that. And they probably only did they only get paid when they actually sell the rice. Is that how it works? Someone has to buy from them to then sell it to the Probably don't even make all the money. But yeah, 
the graphics. I mean, it looks like such a peaceful life though. This little village is so cool. We just bought a drink from there. Oh, Alicia's found a puppy. I'll show you in a sec. The blasting tunes there. Look at this big, fat pig. It's either just had babies or it's pregnant. I don't want to go too near. I don't want to scare it off. It looks a bit startled. It's a massive, fat pig. Loads of big cocks down there. These loud villages are just so cool. Just to wander around. It's like, you can't find anywhere like this in the West. This is like, I love it here. I love it. That's all I'm going to say. Leash has found the puppy. Oh, look at those ducks. They are huge. Wow. What's he doing? Did he bite? Oh, he's gone. The little puppy's gone. I scared it off. So cool. So peaceful. So rustic. Just simple. The best way. Look at this little chick. Yeah, everyone has chickens in Lao. We'll keep going, see if we can find anything else. Sabaidi. <laughs> Annie Jail from the bug, the, the beetle. Hi. Buffalo. Buffalo. I don't know what it is. Buffalo. Buffalo. Dog I don't know what it is. It's just some sort of jail, some sort of dip. Ah, can I smell? Can I smell? Oh, it smells really strong. It smells nice. <laughs> it smells really good. Where's the dog? The dog can smell the jail. Cat <laughs> cow gin jail. The dog. <laughs> Cow. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We've acquired the puppy again. It's so cute. Look at its eyes. Oh. There's a proper party going on in here. It's like a little bat, isn't it? Does he have a name? Cow, cow, chew, alive. <laughs> or oh, Miney. Miney. Does it have a name? <laughs> we'll call you Blackie. <laughs> I think I'll call it. Black. Black. That's what he's called, Black. Black. I knew he was. That's chef chicken, chef cow, chef buffalo. Ah, so it's for me, yeah, but no, no. Yes. Ah, wow. So this lady here is hand making skewers. Yes. And this is a knife. Oh. So it's just like a razor blade on the end of a stick. Yes. But any is this yes. one, and then she turns it into oh. this. Oh no, so she gets these and she just sharpens them. Ah, that it's sharpens them. Wow. And that's the finished the finished piece. Wow. Ah, all by hand. All by hand. Yes. Wow. I like your ring. This, this. I like it. It's nice. It's soy. <laughs> Chicken. 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 Oh, delicious. Sep, sep. <laughs> wow, cup chai. What is this for? For the for the the rice. Yes. Ah. Ah, for the rice, you need cutter. Cutter. Cut cutter. Miss miss cutter. Meat cutter. Ah, miss cone. Say that. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> Cop chai. Tell your mother she's skilled. Geng, geng, geng lai. Kut kun me. Geng lai. Geng lai. She's very good. What, what is her name? Kut kun me ha chu alai. My name is Gassi. Gassi. My name is Gassi. Gassi, Gassi. Yes, Gassi. Cop chai. What should we do? It's a really cool little house. Your house is beautiful. Kun kun ban soy. Ban soy. Thank you. I need to learn some more that word. Yindi tirai rutak pasatai. It's a party house, yeah. yeah. The people in this village are really nice, really friendly. Obviously, no one speaks English, but they're really nice. 
and there's all kinds going on. There's just like a minute ago, like 10 puppies ran out of there. Pig crossed the road, chickens crossed the road at the same time. It was like bloody Noah's Ark. We'll head off back now, see if we can find some more stuff. Chon. Nam Cho. Oh, how have you done that? Oh, oh yeah. Yes, any? Uh, ice? Like ice. Oh, ice. Ah, wow, that is very skill. I've never seen that before. How do you say again? Gan 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 cho. Tam cho. Tam cho. In English, you said cheers. Cheers, Angus. The first BLR of the trip. Oh, it's really good. Sip, sip. It's my first one. It's very good. Sip, sip, lie, sip, lie. Lao, lao, lao. Oh, it's really good. Kop chai, kop chai. You need to do that. Thank you. Have a nice night. Proper party house. Goodbye, lag on. <laughs> I guess we won't be leaving now. We're drinking this bloody beer lao and then driving back. They're laughing their heads off in there. They're proper funny. We came out with two ice cold beers. The first beer lao. Today might have started off really shit. Probably one of the worst days I've ever had, but everything's good now. As long as it doesn't rain, which it is more than likely going to rain. Oh, who's this little guy? Oh, he's going. It's funny, they, they blast tunes, but they're always like really dodgy remixes of like Western songs. Like, proper funny. That dog's got massive dobby ears. The mom's a bit protective for it. It's the pops, even. It, you go near it, it's like it's going to bite you. I know everyone's like, everyone's like, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people so far have been absolutely lovely. That's really nice, isn't it? We were literally just about to set off on the bike and he came running out with two ice cold beers in his hand. He said, wait. Puppy's gone, chicken's gone. It's raining. Oh, it's raining. Maybe we'll set off now. Your friend. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. What is your name? Noi. 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 My name is Noi. 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 Ah, okay. Noi. Nice to meet you. Noi. Ellis. Ellis. Alicia. Alisa. 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 Noi. 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 Boa. Boa. Yes. Ah, uh, remember. Noi. 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 What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Filming us. Lag on! <laughs> what an absolute classic. That was well funny, absolutely classic, yeah. Straight out with them ice cold beers and. That was so kind. Oh, I love loud people so far, it was so nice to them. Everyone's been really lovely, really welcoming. I think that was just what we needed, what do you think? Yeah, this day was absolute dog shit, but now. Now it's a good day, so baby. Let's just hope it doesn't rain. Let's we'll see what else we can see. Honestly, it's like the you get to these villages and it's like the it is like the bloody wild west. You, you have you have no idea what's gonna happen when. Sabaidi. Sabaidi. Some of these houses we've got are really cool. The beautiful houses, it's made of yeah, like everyone's friend, like you say hello to everyone and they'll always, well, I say always, 99% of the time say hello back. It's gonna rain, it's raining. Mm. All right, guys. Yeah, but it's just beautiful out here because life's peaceful and it's simple. There's no, well, I say there's no stress. It's not like, you know, the modern day stress. It's, it's a completely different world. I love it. Oh, Sabaidi. <laughs> he was about 99, wasn't he? Yeah. Alright, let's head back down the bloody dirt road. Across from this little temple complex. There's so many young monks in Lao, by the way. There's this lovely grandmother selling fried banana and taro. Sabaidi. Sabaidi. Kunchu alai. Kunchu pit. 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 Metal pit. Pit. Fresh sweet potato and banana. She's 
so cute. cute. <laughs> every, day off every single day we come here. We can't not support her when we drive yeah. past. Just on the side of this road, hustling all day, every day. Impossible mm. not to. Wish. Cop chai. Cop chai. Are they fresh and hot? Long <laughs> lie. <laughs> okay, cop chai. We'll take these back to the bike rental show sure, them with the guard down there. Let's go. Right, we're just going to go and head for some food and wrap up the day. Yeah, today started off absolutely terrible. One of the worst days ever. But it just shows things could turn themselves around. We actually had a really nice afternoon, met some lovely Lao people. We just had a really nice experience in that little village. The people at the Marvel House bike rental and tours here in Savannah Ket are amazing. Such nice people, so friendly. Really looked after us. All the Lao people. When that guy absolutely floored us off the bike, everyone came over straight away and was so nice. They really like helped us, looked after us. They actually even said, an old guy came over, it was so nice. And then we found out afterwards he was trying to tell the other guy to stop asking us for loads of money because we are a guest in their country. You know, because there's not that many tourists around this area, which was so nice, because the guy, the guy crashed into us, he knew he was in the wrong. And he was asking us for money and we were like, no, 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 that's silly, silly, silly. There's all kinds of stuff down there, I'll show you in a sec, we decided on this geezer here. They're grilling up fresh pork moo and like pork fat. It looks really good. Kop chai. <laughs> so we've got 20 pork skins. Slipknot. Slipknot. I like. Your fan. But Pom Chob. You didn't have a clue, did it? This dog's really cute. Look at his brown eyes. Oh, oh it's petrified. Yeah, we've got 20 of those pork sewers. Just an easy tea. You can't really be bothered with anything. Like, just What's that? A pound. That's one pound fifty, and then a bag of sticky rice that I'll show you when we get somewhere where we can eat it. Massive, absolutely massive. Yeah, so at least we're not dead. Well, nearly got run over there. Could be worse. We could be dead. I look like I've had some sort of bloody ball of acid thrown all over me. Look at that. Leash just like snapped a finger. Leash destroyed a ring that she was wearing. Completely ruined it. Oh well, life goes on. Here's all the food. It's like a bit of a... Like people drive past in cars and bikes and just buy all kinds of stuff. There's grilled fish, salted fish, and there's so many preferred dishes, but we can't be bothered, so it is what it is. Yeah. In the end, it turned out to be a little, little bit of a nice evening after such a shitty day. Yeah, so we might not have got to visit where we wanted to today, go on our road trip for a few days, but on the flip side, we did end up having a really nice day. We turned a big pile of shit into a piece of gold. And here we've got an absolute brick of sticky rice <laughs> and these pork skewers, so... Life could be worse. We could be dead. Simple, but you can't beat it. Pork and sticky rice. Really good, then. Yeah, so hopefully this makes a video. And hopefully, you never get smashed off a motorbike again, because it wasn't fun. I can tell you that. Thanks for watching.